What is going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jossie Lin J, but most people just call me Jossie. I am a full-time software developer, YouTuber, and filmmaker. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easy. To give you a little background information about me, I graduated from college in May of 2018 with a degree in computer science. And actually, I used both the MacBook Pro and Air throughout college which is why I'm excited to be making this video. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, it's because you're trying to decide on which MacBook laptop to get. And I'm happy to give you some of my experience along with telling you the pros and cons of each laptop. With that being said, let's get to the review and my take on both devices. So the first thing I want you to keep in mind is that you should get a laptop that fits your needs. And choosing the right Mac depends on what you're gonna be studying in college or what you're currently studying in college. Now, I know some of you all are probably asking, how is that true when you just said you own both the Pro and the Air? Well, when I got the Air, I had been using the MacBook Pro for about four years. It was a 2012 and I decided to upgrade in 2017 to the MacBook Air and that was because I only had one year of college left and it was affordable. I got it for about $700 and I figured it last me throughout college, which only had a year left. And it did last me throughout college and it would have lasted me even longer if I didn't sell it for a pro. I should have just started off by saying that both laptop options are great and Apple prides themselves on making premium laptops that last, are durable, and just work out of the box. Now, which laptop should you buy? The Air? Or the Pro? Here are some things to keep in mind about the MacBook Pro if you are a student in the market for a new laptop or just someone in the market for a new laptop. The MacBook Pro, the, what did I just say? The MacBook Pro is obviously more expensive than the Air and it ranges from $1299 to $2799, brand new with that higher end model, 15 inch, being well over $2,000. But my recommendation is to get a certified refurbished MacBook Pro if you have have a MacBook Air budget but really need the specs and the power that the Pro has. The MacBook Pro has a better retina, higher resolution display depending on what model you're looking at when comparing it against the MacBook Air. The Pros are a little bit heavier, both laptops are very light in my opinion, but the Pro does feel a little bit more durable which can be comforting. The Pro is more future proof than the Air and that's because of the power that it comes packed with. The 1.4 gigahertz version with 128 eight gigabytes of storage is more than enough power for really any major in college. However, I will say 128 gigabytes of storage isn't enough to get you throughout college, but I wouldn't spend the extra couple hundred dollars on the 256 gigabytes of storage version when you can get a external hard drive or, or pay a little bit more for extra iCloud storage. But keep in mind, the external hard drive is gonna be an extra accessory that you're gonna wanna keep up with while you're in college. I wouldn't recommend getting the pre-2018 model, and that's because the older models have a processor from 2014. Like, I was in high school in 2014. So that's the main reason why I wouldn't recommend getting the older model unless you are someone who's just looking for a laptop to browse the web and maybe write some papers with, and you could care less about it being future-proof and you find an amazing deal for it. MacBook Air comes with a 13 inch, 1.6 gigahertz, eighth generation processor. Earlier I mentioned that the MacBook Pros have a 1.4 gigahertz processor and it may seem like that the MacBook Airs are more powerful because the processor number is bigger, but, but the MacBook Pros have a quad core processor while the MacBook Airs have a dual core processor. So four 1.4 gigahertz processors are better than two 1.6 gigahertz processors. I will say for students who are mostly surfing the web, writing essays, doing research, and are looking for a laptop that will last them throughout college, I definitely will recommend this model. I definitely think that this model will be a great fit for you. Similar to the Pro, there are two USB-C ports and a headphone jack. And if you're in love with this model, you can get it with 16 gigabytes of RAM, but I've never heard of anyone doing that. They typically just upgrade to the Pro if they wanna spend the extra cash for a higher end, more powerful model. I was beyond excited to hear that Apple announced that their new Airs were coming with a higher resolution screen because once you go Retina, you can't go back. 
and you're still spending a good amount of money for a laptop. So you'd at least expect it to have a high-end display, so I'm happy that Apple added that to the newer model. Due to the shape of the MacBook Air being wedge-shaped, it is 0.22 kilograms less than the MacBook Pro. So those are the specs for both the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. Pro. I had the MacBook Pro for three years in college and I got the lower end model. I only had one issue with it and another thing that I just love about Apple is the customer service experience that you get and just being able to drive to the Apple store. So I was able to get my laptop fixed for a deductible of $250 and it was working perfectly fine and I even got a new display. So just keep those things in mind if you are considering getting a PC and you just wanna have peace of mind in college if something happens to your laptop. Having a MacBook is nice. It's very convenient to be able to just drive up to the store, tell them what's wrong and get it fixed that same day or the next day. Okay, so I talked about the MacBook Pro, I talked about the MacBook Air and I compared and contrasted the two laptops. So, in my opinion, if you are a student who will be using apps that are taxing on your computer or just require a lot of power, my recommendation is for you to get the MacBook Pro. Or if you are someone who has the extra cash and is looking to get a laptop that is powerful and future-proof. If you don't find yourself in that category, I think you'll be more than happy to get the MacBook Air and your pockets will be even happier. I hope this video was helpful. If you are still here, thank you for watching the entirety of this video. Share it with someone who you think might benefit from it. If you liked it at all, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, as always, stay blessed. Peace.